Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss club food grading system and also the Pirani scoring system. Club food which is congenital telepiece equinovirus is a common and complex multi-segmental three-dimensional congenital foot deformity. The segmental deformities are cavus of the forefoot and midfoot, adductus of the midfoot, varus of the hindfoot and equinus of the ankle. And for this, we often use an acronym CAVE, C-A-V-E. According to Harold and Walker grading system of clubfoot, there are three grades. Grade 1 is mild clubfoot deformity and it can be corrected at or beyond to the neutral position. Grade 2 is moderate clubfoot deformity and this is less than 20 degree of the residual varus and equinus. Grade 3 represents severe deformity and it has more than 20 degree of residual varus and equinus. Pirani scoring system is based on six well described clinical signs of clubfoot. So number one is posterior crease, number two is empty heel, number three is rigid equinus and these three clinical signs are in hind -hand. And rest of the three signs are in midfoot, that is Taylor head coverage, medial crease, curved lateral border. So if the sign is severely abnormal, it will score 1. If it's partially abnormal, it will score 0.5. And if it's normal, the score will be 0. Today we are going to do the Pirani scoring. So here the midfoot score as visible is 0.5 since the crease is not that deep. Um, now coming towards the lateral border. So lateral border here is um, we use pen to actually see how much it is adducted inside. So here it's 0.5. Now coming towards another midfoot component which is the Taylor head. So we see either it is reducing or not. So here um, we move one centimeter interior to uh, malleoli and then we see here it's completely reducing. So it's zero. Now we are going towards the hind foot. So the first thing that we're going to see is empty heel. Here the heel is completely empty. So the score is one. To see the coyness or to see the dorsiflexion of the ankle. Here it is. 0.5 it's just coming towards neutral and not going in actual dorsiflexion now moving towards the posterior crease here it's zero since there is no deep crease